Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph videos number one. In this first video we're simply going to look at a few selection issues in autograph and how we might go about creating a shape. The first thing to notice is that I am in what's known as standard mode. This means that I can do many of the very basic functions on autograph but I don't have to get bogged down in any complicated degrees, radians and the kind of thing you'd need for post-16 mathematics. Um, if you ever find yourself in advanced mode, it's very easy to change back from it. I'll just show you here. If you go to View and Preferences, then you should notice in General that you can choose your level, Standard or Advanced. So I'll just show you what Advanced looks like. If you click on Advanced and OK, then we had all these funny degrees and radians and things like that that we probably don't need for most of our maths. So let's go back to standard mode. Preferences, general, standard level. Perfect. Okay, before we make our shape, I just want to say one quick thing about um, whiteboard mode and non-whiteboard mode. At the moment, I'm not in whiteboard mode. Now, there's one big thing you've got to remember here, and that's when you're not in whiteboard mode, if you want to select more than one object or point at the same time, you have to hold down the shift button on your keyboard. I'll just show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to go over here to the left of the screen into point mode. I'm just going to pop a few points on the screen, just wherever I want. And then I'm going to come back into select mode. I could do this also by hitting escape if I wanted to. So I'm in select mode. If I try and click on these points in turn now to select them, I've selected that point. Now if I select that point, it deselects the first point automatically. However, if I hold down shift now and click on them, I can select points left, right and center. Um, so that is non-white bulb mode. If, however, I go into white bulb mode, first thing you notice is I get this thing here, a keyboard up in front of me. This is a very useful function in autograph. Um, very important feature. I can enter in things if I want there, equations and all that kind of stuff. Okay, just pop that to one side. Now I'm in whiteboard mode, I can just click on points left, right and center and they'll be selected. So it's very important you choose what mode you're in. Anyway, let's have a look at making a shape. So I'm going to stay in whiteboard mode for now. I'm just going to click away um, to deselect all my points and I'm just going to create a shape. So I'm going to move my points into position to create maybe some kind of rectangle and I'm going to select my points in turn. First point, second point, third point, fourth point. With them all selected I'm going to right click and hopefully on my menu I get group to shape. Click it and there's my lovely shape. I can move this round and adjust points I can click on the whole thing and drag it around. I can change the color of it if I want by clicking up here. And I can change the color of the border if I want by clicking up here. Um, one final thing to notice is I'm a bit restricted where I can actually move this. I can only go to integer coordinates. That's because I've got snap settings on here that's snapping to one integer unit. If I change it to 0 0.1, then I can move things a little bit more precisely. Anyway, this shape's going to be very important for the next few tutorials when we look at how to do transformations on Autograph. So, I will see you in video two. Bye-bye.